Hey everybody, how's it going? So, um, let's try this again. Is It is Wednesday, isn't it? Yes, I just uh, the 5th. And um, I enjoyed uh, my little session with you last night. And um, due to all the snowy weather, um, just um, been kind of hunkered down a bit. My friend Frank did stop by and we um, had a really nice session listening to records and playing a bunch of oldies actually tonight. So I have still a bunch of records out from the closet and then I was just pulling records and I thought I'd just see what happens tonight. I was just listening to this uh, double 12 inch single by System 7, Altitude featuring Ultranate. And System 7 is a, um, I guess you'd call them techno um, outfit that was started by Steve Hillage and Miket Giraudi. I believe that's right, I hope. Uh, maybe I've got the wrong name, but his wife, Steve Hillage and his wife, who is formerly with Gong. And um, I like this. And this is uh, kind of old, but it don't matter to me. I just, 1992, I'm going to put this on right quick. I like this. I like that cover too. I see you there, yet my eyes are closed. Derek May remixes on here Your too. Your presence emanates a power that engulfs my being. I like a nice beat, I do. I inhale you, and I exhale Quite a variety of stuff tonight. Listen to Kvyker by Sigur Rus. This is, I believe, one of their most recent records. I think they probably have something newer since this. They seem to put out records just as quick as you turn around. But I really like this. Um, I just like it, yeah. I have this out, but we didn't get to it. The new, latest Mu Residence album, Mushrooms. I was showing it to Frank, but we didn't get to it. I'm going to keep that up because I need to get more familiar with that. Played my... Played the... the um, I've been playing this um, test pressing quite a bit, actually. Played it for Frank. can't wait for this to come, man. I'm really happy with it. We were talking about this. Red Lorry, Yellow Lorry. Smashed Hits. We didn't play it, we were just talking about it because Frank said he had listened to it earlier. I love this band. So I was just pulling it and showing to him how drastic plastic records here in Omaha had this reissue like this. And a good job, you don't hear the separation in the colors of the vinyl. Some folks who've done that split color, you can actually hear. Then we were talking about the Sasquatch Festival, which Frank has gone to before and mentioned that the National are playing and I was talking about how I think the National are okay. It's not quite my speed, but that I have this, you know, the, very pleased that 4AD gave this to me. And um, 
they are a good band, you know. It's just not what I'm interested in hearing a lot of the time, but we pulled this out. Listen to a bit of side one, actually. Out of the closet, um, Elton John, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, and this is uh, one that I inherited from an, a friend who passed away from cancer, and this is the first half speed master uh, version of this album that was released. And I was showing this online earlier, and then I played it, Frank and I listened to it earlier tonight really noticeable so noticeable wonderful listening experience so over here i'm going to show a mixture of some records i've listened to and that are sitting out to listen to played some ozzy diary of a madman longtime friend fan of black sabbath and ozzy um part of me personally feels that i can relate to him as a person although good stuff I, I like I can t one of the things that I like about um, Ozzy and I do think I have a pretty good bullshit detector for good music is you can hear that he likes to listen to this music and certain things need to happen you know as a listener for it to be right and they're always there not always, but you know, he's always trying to have those elements, and this is good. It's jams. Uh, I like the way the drums, the, the rhythm section, is very important as well as the wild guitar, but that damn rhythm section, Ozzy knows. Um, listen to a bunch of Spirit tonight with Frank. We listened to uh, Dr. Sargonicus, but then after he left, I kept going with this, Clear Spirit. Excellent. We were um, just having fun with this, Mystic Moods, um, One Stormy Night. This is cheesier than hell, just aw awful. But, you know, again, cheesy cover with the, the naked couple. Get in the mood, folks. Definitely a fun, kitschy collector's item. Listen to a bit of this tonight, Roberta Flack, Chapter 2. Now, this music really is all about being with someone. And that's the best way to listen, experience this music to me is this is music for being in love or being in, getting in the mood or staying in the mood or just thinking about somebody. So, uh, and in that sense, it's just, it's amazing. Roberta Flack, jeez. Here's some old um, hard techno that I was listening to. Oliver Ho. Colors for the Blind EP, and um, not too bad, but dated. You know how dance music, beat music can date? Some of this is dated, but like one track on here was really was still holding up good. Frank and I listened to some Three Dog Night tonight, out in the country, the song up here in particular, we were digging. I was sharing with him how Floyd Sneed, the drummer, the black guy back in the day in the hood here in Omaha that was that was news that was important he was kind of like a hero to us you know you know a funky young black drummer in a very successful white group back in the 70s well, that was important when I was talking to Frank about that here's my spirit Wait, listen to this Phenomenal album. Brothers Johnson, the list of Strawberry Letter 23, their version. Talked about Suge Otis. Um, one of the artists I share a residency with is Preston Love's daughter. Preston Love was a jazz saxophonist from Omaha who played with a number of people. Count Basie, notably, good friends with Johnny Otis. And so she grew up around Suge Otis and has told me some funny stories I was sharing with Frank. Smith minus plus didn't play this, but this is out. Let me see what else I played. Mamas and Papas, man, we were getting off on some Mamas and Papas, and this picture tells quite the story. You know, if you can look closely at it, if you have this record, 
the way that John Phillips is looking uh, at Mama Cass from studying the history, uh, continuing to study rock music and the history of it, Mama Cass apparently was a very important mover and shaker, uh, a, a woman who made a lot of things happen in American music, you know, from Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young through Mamas and Papas, um, Jackson Brown, and even further, you know, she was someone who had a very large talent, but recognized talent and seemed to be a rallying force. And then, not to talk down on John, but John seemed to be kind of a scammer. He was a very talented man. But um, I think he sold his soul. And uh, quite the story behind the Mamas and Papas. Some amazing pop music. Amazing pop music. I do like pop music. So, I don't know if this is going to work, but I uh, was listening to a bunch of old stuff today and rediscovering and rediscovering some stuff that was just really, I was really having fun with it. And one of those albums was, is Spooky by Classics 4. Some of you folks my age and some of the other folks may remember know about this. Big hit, Spooky. Cheesy. This album overall is cheesy. They do they do a bunch of covers, and the covers are not worth a damn. Daydream Believer, You Are My Sunshine. But just before Spooky is another um another original, which I think is kind of cool. It's called Book a Trip. I'm gonna play it. I played it for Frank and he agreed. It's like, whoa, that's kind of cool. Kind of so let me pop this on. Classics 4, Book a Trip. Ryan here, this is cool. That is cool, I think. Yeah, Classics 4. He's been having fun with uh, digging in my closet here. I forget these records. Turtles. Nate Me Babe on the great white whale label. Let's play something else. Let's see if I can still find it. I love Frank. I played some of this. Man. Okay, yeah, yeah. Good thing. a bit of that now I decided to play this now my copy is really beat but man this just this is this is pretty funky actually boogie music It's like that big fat guy, Bob the Bear. When I heard it on the radio, you know I fell out on the floor. You know you'll fall out on the floor. Can lift you up and it won't drag you down. I love this old stuff. I do. I love the, the music. I love the blues. I do. I used to love this when this would come on the radio, on the FM underground radio, back at the end of the 60s, early 70s. It's just, it just, 
it's kind of cool to play quick DJ here. Now I was uh, jumping into these oldies but goodies that I found. I, here's one I still haven't opened, but I uh, broke the seal on a couple of these today, and um, I want to play. Um, yeah, this. As I listen to this song, this I'm going to play "Suspicion" by by Terry um, Shepard. Came out in 1964. And as I was listening to that, I loved this song as a child. And it's like the sound of this, you can hear this sound is captivating. And it's like an early example of what just draw, draws me in. My video is going to probably get banned in some countries. Sorry, guys. This music, this song is. It still sounds like it's like kind of otherworldly to me. Everything, the vocals, the arrangements of the music, and the. Uh, just everything. That organ, I love it. See, I played too much of it already, but that, as I was listening to that today, I was saying, yeah, that's a great example of the kind of sound that I found myself naturally drawn to, like, and it's like consistently, you know, it's something I'm drawn to in music is atmosphere and kind of otherworldly is one term to try, that I try, that I use trying to describe is just, then I was also listening to um, a, a whole other side, this horn band, Chase. Not really atmospheric at all, kind of brash and loud, jazzy and bluesy, but really good. And I have two of their albums. Listen to a little bit of both, I like them. This band, Kraken, I was uh, playing, and they're originally from Omaha. Um, they got um, on Warner Brothers, this is pretty good. Let me see what else. Yeah, I was playing this one by them. Kraken. I was enjoying this one. I'll put a little bit of this on. And um, these guys, most, the majority, of the, not the majority, but several of the guys in this band were in the band L.A. Carnival. And that's how I remember them. They were like a um, local, local band. Les Smith of the band, the Richard Omaha, won a Grammy with the Doobie Brothers. He co-wrote Minute by Minute. So listen, to, listen to this. I'll play a little bit of that. Joan Baez. Um, Blessed are. Enjoyed that. Here's an album that I keep because I like the cover. I really don't like this album. But Australian band, Daddy Cool. This one brings to mind Jeff Recordman. He gave this to me. Because I always wanted it because of the cover. It's real rock and rolly in a way that I just... It's real hard to listen to. Listen to this. Free. Live. Mr. Big. Yeah. Excellent. Free. So yeah, it's get, getting into roots listening to these records today. Spike Jones. Comedy. Otis Redding. Oh man. Otis Redding live in Europe. And, um, this one I didn't play it yet. Doctor the Bay. This one. Again, we'll switch right quick because my copy is beat, but it has an old favorite song. My copy is beat. Love you more than words can say. Let's see if it doesn't skip too bad. Bleep.
you know, there's a... I'll, I'll just keep it to myself. Oh, it is. Let me sit Such a beautiful song. Head, hands, and feet. Persian music. It's been 20 minutes already. I just wanted to vibe a little bit more. And like I say, because of what I've played tonight. Otis, my brother. God, rest in peace. Chances are this video will be um, blocked in some countries. I hope not. Power of good music, you know. All good.